Aloha everybody and welcome back to Kyle Astrology 1122 doing another Scorpio rising video today. Um, I've been covering a lot of different topics lately from trust and boundaries and all different kind of things that apply to Scorpio rising and um, today I'm going to be talking about vulnerability. Um, I've been asking you guys to leave in the comments what you want to see. I might start putting polls up to see what kind of videos y'all want me to go into but it seems like being vulnerable and forgiveness and working through, you know, those really sticky and thick, heavy emotions can be difficult for uh, some people. So I wanted to make one specifically on this. And I want to say that this is something that I have struggled with myself. Um, I'm going to put a little preface and say it's a little bit of a contradiction for me sometimes as a Scorpio rising, just to give some background into my own chart. I have my moon in Sagittarius um, at the zero degree, so it's like totally new into Sag, in my first house conjuncts my ascendant, which is 28 degrees Scorpio, so it's kind of like, it's an out of sign conjunction, which is wacky, and then when you have your moon in the first house really close to your ascendant, it's kind of like you wear your emotions and your heart on your sleeve. And that's kind of a contradiction for a Scorpio rising, because Scorpio people, while we are a water sign, we're emotional, and we're... Um, we are feeling base, we are fixed water, so we don't necessarily, uh, we don't like let it all out the way like a Cancer or a Pisces, you know, Moon, Neptune energy would, you know, where uh, we conceal our emotions um, and we only let you into that mushy center um, when we really trust you. But um, so therefore, the power of vulnerability is really big for Scorpio rising. And like I always say, uh, you know, this can apply to any Scorpio oriented person like Scorpio sun or Scorpio moon. Um, but I'm talking from my experience and uh, talking to the experience mostly of those with a Scorpio ascendant. Um, so the thing about vulnerability is, um, you know, my whole, my last video I went into trust and how trust is so important for Scorpio Rising. So I'm not really going to talk a lot in this video about how we need to trust you and yada, 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 and all the stuff that we know about Scorpio Rising. Um, we're going to talk about just how important it is as a Scorpio Rising to allow ourselves to be vulnerable. Um, because we typically have had really intense life experiences, is uh, we've had a lot of childhood trauma for some Scorpio Risings, there's been a lot of reasons for us not to trust and to kind of keep people at arm's length. Um, and what this leads to is it leads us a lot of Scorpio Ascendants to feeling very isolated, feeling very lonely, um, and just kind of this feeling of no one is ever really going to understand us because we have this depth, we have this intensity, we have all of this, we have this deep yearning to connect and to be vulnerable because when we do, like, we are there, we're loyal, we're deep, we're going to be, like, they're 100% with you. Um, but in order to do that, um, you know, obviously we have to feel comfortable to do so. But like I said, without going into all of that, um, I want to talk about the importance of forgiveness and trust and um, allowing ourselves to de-ice. This is kind of a metaphor I was coming up with because Scorpio r Rising reminds me a lot of an iceberg. You know, an iceberg, it's a body of water that's just frozen, like in the ocean, right? And you see the tip of the iceberg, but there's so much more under the ocean, under the murky waters that you don't see. And that's Scorpio rising, right? We're rising out of the water, but there's so much more to us. You just kind of see this thick glacier of ice, right? <clears throat> and so we have to de-ice, you know? I used to be a flight attendant and we would, um, you know, be on the planes and we're, when we're in like the cold destinations up north, like New York and stuff, you know, we would often have to de-ice the plane when we're, before we get off the runway. And it was this long, tedious process, but it's very necessary or else the plane wouldn't function, right? And uh, the pilots have to be able to see out the window so we can fly safely. Um, this really applies to Scorpio Rising. I was sitting there one day, uh, I was in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it, it took like almost, there was so many planes ahead of us that had to be de-iced, and by the time we got there, it was taking so long, and I was like, my God, can we get this over with? But the other flight attendant, she's letting me know like, hey, this is a necessary process. If we don't de-ice, the pilots can't see, plane's not gonna function right, you know, it's, it's just gonna be a bad situation. So it's something we have to go through. I was sitting there thinking like, wow, that really applies to me sometimes. And like, 
my feelings, how sometimes as Scorpio Risings, we are all, as a water sign, we accumulate all these feelings. We're always, we're very moody, we're very broody, and we're just kind of like sifting through all these emotions that we have throughout our lives, our day, our week, whatever. And if we don't take the time to de-ice, it kind of all builds and it clutters up and, you know, we have all these emotions that we don't know what to do with, right? Um, and it's so therefore it's important for us to have outlets whether it's a significant other family friends a support group a therapist a life coach um, you know just anybody really um, and it needs to usually be an emotion an emotional interaction of some kind um, everyone needs a release I was about to say oh go to the gym or having some type of artistry or creative endeavor and that's all great as well because you can that is it does take vulnerability to paint or to write or to take pictures or whatever your art form is um, but it really needs to be an emotional release uh, where Scorpio rising is concerned and usually having someone that we feel we can really connect with on that one-on-one -on -one really deep level and have like those deep conversations and just share from our heart right where we do have this mushy center that's really important and so the thing is it's hard for us to be vulnerable because as a fixed sign we feel like we have to it's not necessarily like an earth sign where we feel like capricorn per se or taurus where we have to feel like we're all put together all the time and everything's okay it's not necessarily that we need everyone to think oh we're okay but scorpio is so prone to um kind of being like God, i'm just trying to think how to put it not like at the helm of the i mean we do like to be in control so i'm gonna say that yes we like to be controlled we don't we have these intense emotions but we don't want to give anyone the impression that we are being succumbed to those emotions and that they're like overtaking us and like completely ruling our life we want it to seem like we got our shit together and we're at the helm of the ship and we're in control and everything is going how it should be and we don't want to let others know that we struggle especially if there's people we have issues with or we have this certain image of ourselves. we don't want people to get the wrong idea, you know, and to think that we're falling apart. Um, because that part of it comes down to power. Um, it's not just control, it's it's power. We find, uh, we think we're more powerful when we are, you know, all like that, right? But at the end of the day, I'm coming to find as a Scorpio rising, there's just as much power, if not more, in allowing myself to be vulnerable. Um, and it's really uncomfortable sometimes because we don't always want to cry or show those feelings that are really mushy or to, um, we kind of feel like we have leverage, especially with certain people and certain dynamics in our life, no matter what they are, or where they are, like we have the upper hand if we seem like something's not affecting us and we're just like above it somehow and we're just... It's, you know, the, again, that icy, cold exterior, which Scorpio is really good at putting off. It's very similar to Capricorn in that way. Um, just kind of in its own unique flavor, right? Um, but the thing is, when we don't allow ourselves to be vulnerable, we don't have that authentic connection that we really actually want. Um, I, I want that authentic connection, and I want trust in it. I want loyalty, I want respect. But to get that, I realize I have to be vulnerable too. You know, I always expect everyone else around me to be vulnerable, and I usually want them to be that way first and then I'll reciprocate, but sometimes we have to be willing to make the first move. And again, that's not just in a romantic or sexual relationship, it can be in a friendship, it can be with family, it can even be with certain acquaintances that you need to kind of take things to the next level with to get where you need to be. Um, it can be in business relationships, even sometimes depending on the context. It's just important that we allow ourselves to, like I was saying earlier, to de-ice. Um, and it's not easy because the thing is, it goes against our nature. Um, it goes against the Scorpio Rising's nature, but sometimes we have to peel back the, um, the crustacean exterior that we have of the scorpion to allow ourselves to become the phoenix and to fly. And that's a whole other video I'm gonna be making about, you know, the phases going from the serpent to the scorpion to the phoenix rising above the ashes because it's a whole journey for the Scorpio. But um, I just, again, this is all about the importance of vulnerability and being authentic and allowing ourselves to uh, 
to, yeah, to be vulnerable. So thank you for watching, everybody. Please leave down in the comments below uh, your thoughts on this and more stuff you want to see and for me to go into. If y'all are interested in a chart reading of any kind, check out my website linked in the description down below. And until soon, I will be back. Much aloha, guys, and happy transiting.